Hello dear students, I am Dr. Moinuddin. In this video, we are going to learn about UV visible spectroscopy. So these are the contents of present video. So we, we are going to see about the introduction of UV visible spectroscopy. Then we will see the types of electronic transitions. So we will learn about intensity of absorption and we will also see what are allowed and forbidden transitions. So first of all introduction. The portion of electromagnetic radiation with wavelength 10 to 400 nanometer falls in UV region means UV light has wavelength 10 to 400 nanometer while that of visible light it has wavelength range 400 to 800 nanometer so in UV visible spectroscopy we study the range we study the wavelength range 10 to 800 nanometer now the question arise why do we study both of these together so absorption of electromagnetic radiations by an organic molecule in both UV and visible region involves same basic principle means whenever ultraviolet or visible radiation interact with the matter there are similar types of molecular excitations that is why both of these are studied together as UV visible spectroscopy and what happens there actually what is the principle when UV visible light interact with the matter so there occur electronic transitions means the valence electrons are excited from the ground state to excited state so as I told you that the UV region is from 10 to 400 nanometer but there is a problem that we cannot study the UV region below 200 nanometer using an ordinary instrument and what's the problem there we know that air is present everywhere and the oxygen is air actually that absorbs strongly below 200 nanometer and if we are interested to study below 200 nanometer so definitely we must have to remove oxygen from the environment and this can be done by flushing the instrument with nitrogen so we can expand our region up to 150 nanometer but still we cannot study below 150 nanometer because below this region below 150 nitrogen starts absorbing strongly and if we want to study the whole UV region means uh, 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 10 to 400 nanometers so definitely we will have to evacuate our instrument and for this purpose we must have to use some sophisticated type of instrument which is very much costly so the region below 200 nanometer is also known as vacuum UV region while the region above 200 nanometer means 2 to 400 nanometer is also known as ordinary or quartz UV region. In this slide, we will see about electronic transitions and we will also learn about the principle of the technique. So as I mentioned earlier that this technique is also called electronic spectroscopy because whenever there is absorption of UV visible radiation by the molecule it results in excitation of valence electrons from ground state to higher energy states these electronic transitions generally occur from HOMO to LOMO means from highest occupied molecular orbitals which may be bonding or non-bonding to lowest unoccupied molecular orbitals which are anti-bonding means by absorption of UV visible light there are electronic transitions from bonding or non-bonding molecular orbitals to anti-bonding molecular orbitals now which part of radiation will be absorbed from 10 to 800 nanometer definitely it will depend upon the energy difference between two states among which the electronic transition is going to happen 
one more thing must be kept in the mind that only electrons move from lower level to higher levels atoms don't move during these transitions actually transitions occur so rapidly that vibrating atoms don't change their positions appreciable appreciably and this was what do you say this is frank condon principle there are four major types of transitions which are observed in uv visible spectroscopy and what are these sigma to sigma star n to sigma star pi to pi star n to pi star let's see the diagram first so here are the orbitals which are arranged according to their energy this sigma and pi orbitals these are the bonding molecular orbitals n is a non-bonding orbital and pi star and sigma star these are anti-bonding molecular orbitals so let's see the first transition and that is sigma to sigma star so we know that sigma bond is only present in saturated molecule so these transitions are generally observed in saturated hydrocarbons like ethane and here is the transition from sigma to sigma star and we can see the energy gap is very large and we know that the, uh, the relationship between energy and wavelength is inverse relationship so due to large energy difference definitely the uh, radiation which will be absorbed will be of lower wavelength so it has seen that the transition the absorptions due to sigma to sigma star transitions generally observed below 150 nanometer for example in ethane the absorption due to cc bond appears at 135 nanometer while that of ch bond appears at 125 nanometer and as i told you earlier that the region below 200 nanometer is called vacuum uv region and it can be studied by ordinary instrument so generally these transitions are not used for routine analysis second type of transition is n to sigma star it generally occur in saturated compounds having heteratom like oxygen nitrogen sulfur etc which have some lone pair of electrons and in this transition there is an electronic transition from this non-bonding orbital to the this sigma star orbital and definitely if we compare the energy of this transition so it is quite lesser as compared to that of sigma to sigma star transition so these absorption appear towards longer side as compared to sigma to sigma star transition for example in methanol it shows six n to sigma star absorption band at 183 nanometer another molecule is trimethylamine and it also shows n to sigma star transition at 227 nanometer then third type of transition is pi to pi star transition so definitely it occurs in unsaturated compound and there is a transition of electron from this pi to pi star orbital and we can see that energy is lesser again as compared to sigma to sigma star transition so definitely these will absorb towards longer side for example ethene in ethene due to absorption due to this transition there is an absorption band at 171 nanometer and if there is conjugation in the molecule then absorption is still at more longer side for example in 1,3-butadiene there is an absorption due to this transition at 217 nanometer and the fourth type of transition is n to pi star transition and this occur in the molecules which contain unsaturation involving heteroatom for example carbonyl group nitriles so electrons from non-bonding orbital it excites to the pi star orbital 
So you can see the energy gap is minimum as compared to the other three. So definitely the band due to this will appear towards the longest side. For example, in aldehydes and ketones, this absorbs, absorption is shown at 275, between 275 to 295 nanometer. Next one is intensity of absorption. Here is a UV visible spectrum and we can see here are the bands. This is the band and this is another band, absorption band. There are two main characteristics of an absorption band, its position and its intensity. What is position of an absorption band? Position means at what wavelength it has appeared. You can see on the x-axis there is wavelength. So this band is appeared at this wavelength while this band is appeared on this wavelength. And this all depends upon that what wavelength radiation uh, it has absorbed during the transition. So it appears uh, to that wavelength. And if we talk about the intensity, to, so in simple words, what is the intensity? So you can see this band is more intense than this one. So this is simply the intensity. So the intensity of absorption, actually, it largely depends on the probability of transition. Means, what is the probability of transition? What are the chances of transitions? So intensity depends upon the probability of transition. And the value of probability, it ranges from zero to one. Mean minimum to maximum, minimum chances to maximum chances, minimum probability to maximum probability. And the probability of transition, it depends on the relative symmetries of the orbitals. Which orbitals among, among which transition is going to be happen. And due to the relative symmetries of orbitals, we can divide transitions into two categories. Number one is allowed transition. When two orbitals involved in transition have their axis on same plane, so the probability of transition is high and hence results in absorption band of high intensity. For example, pi to pi star. Let's see in the figure. This is the carbonyl compound. And let us see, uh, we are going to see here the pi to pi, pi to pi star transition. So here's a pi orbital and here's the pi star orbital. And both of these lie in the same plane. So because both of these lie in the same plane, so probability of transition is very much high. So here is the transition, one of electron is shifted to pi star. So probability is high and the resulting band will be more intense band. Now, intensity of absorption is expressed as molar absorptivity, absorptivity epsilon. And a transition whose probability value is one unity. So for this transition, the molar absorptivity value is 10 raised 5. So this is the maximum value. And which absorption will be called an intense absorption? So an absorption whose molar absorptivity value will be greater than 10 raised 4. So it is considered as high intensity absorption and transition associated with this absorption is called allowed transition so pi to pi star are generally allowed transitions so second one is forbidden transition so if a, if a transition is going to happen between two orbitals which are perpendicular to each other the probability for this type of transition is low and these type of transition will be called forbid forbidden transitions and their molar absorptivity value will be less than 10 raised 3 for example n to pi star transition so let's see in the diagram this is an orbital and this is pi star orbital so we can see these are not in plane rather they are perpendicular to each other 
So here is the transition. And the probability for this transition is low due to which the band which will appear due to this transition will be less intense. So dear student, this is all about the current video. Thanks for watching. Like my video and subscribe my channel to get in touch with my upcoming videos. Thank you very much.